In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get a gap pressure at your opponent in Madden 22. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is focusing in on helping people become the best Madden players they could possibly become. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and tricks on the channel. Now guys, I've been putting some time in the lab on this Nickel 335 Sam. This can be found in the Detroit Lions playbook as well as the Seattle Seahawks playbook. What I like about it is I, it does a lot of things really, really well. It's got great run defense. It's got solid pressure pr blitzing concepts. And it's one of the only four down lineman nickel formations that I've been able to find that has this crossfire looping style of blitz that I think is the best way to play defense this year. It's what I based my... 335 odd uh, New York Giants defensive guide on. And if you want to get that defensive guide, it's on sale for just 15 bucks. I still think that that's the best defense in the game. I've just been kind of toying around with this. Wanted to share some of the concepts with you guys here on the channel. But if you want to get my full defense, the defense that I'm going to be running in the tournament this weekend for the MCS, I would encourage you to pick up that Detroit Lion, or um, I'm sorry, that uh, New York Giants uh, defensive guide. Again, there's a link in the description of this video. Now what I like to do with this formation is I like to run it flipped and the reason I like to run it flipped is because I think it gives you a little bit better alignment in terms of the way that the players are going to kind of line up once we break the huddle. Alright so crossfire seam is the play we're going to be going over today and literally all we're going to do is we are going to pinch the linebackers, um, we're going to crash our defensive line to the left just like this as you can see and then we're going to take the linebacker um, the triangle linebacker and we're going to put him into coverage so whatever coverage you want to put him into i typically will just play him into a yellow zone and then i like to bring my user down off this edge and i'm going to go over that in just a minute but for right now i'm just going to click off of my user because i just want you to see the base rush and what you're going to see here is you're going to get this instant a gap pressure at your opponent now this is the concept that i really like this year i love these crossfire blitzes because they do a lot of a lot of damage in terms of how they're going to manipulate the offensive line. In this year's game, I think that the crossfire blitzes are one of the best ways to play Madden 22. So let me show you the pressure again. And you're going to see sometimes it's going to come from one of these two guys, Vea or Sue. And sometimes it's going to, most of the time it's going to come from this looper, which is uh, Devin White, who's got 99 or 92 speed. So again, snap the ball. And you'll see that time we got picked up, and that partially would have been uh, when your user, when you bring your user down, you're going to get a little bit more consistency out of this. So let me show you now with the user. Let me add him into the mix. And what you're going to notice with this user is one of the other things, one of the other benefits of this defense is you're going to have a decent shot at getting um, this edge pressure from the defensive end. So snap the ball, and what you'll see here is you get the instant A-gap pressure right at the quarterback. So I love this pressure. I think it's one of the best pressures in the entire game. You can obviously do a couple of other little things with this. Uh, one of those things being uh, what we can do is we could crash our defensive line down. I want to show you what that looks like. So if I crash my defensive line down, I'm going to kind of stand right in here and just run down at the snap of the ball and then go left. You'll see that that pressure is not as smooth. I like to crash them all the way over to that edge. It creates also a clean gap for me to be able to run through. So again, I'm just crashing my line to the left. You might have to do it a couple times. Sometimes the line crashes don't register this year. But anyways, you get really good coverage. This is really good coverage against Bunch, in my opinion. Um, I would just make sure to bring this safety down and put him in an inside quarter. Um, that's really, really important against Gun Bunch this year. But anyways, you're gonna see, see how this is our gap. So all we're going to do is we're just going to kind of come right through here. And as you see, we're getting this, uh, this A-gap pressure at the quarterback. Okay, so really smooth pressure. Another player that you can use her, let's say that you want to use her on the bunch side. That's fine. All we're going to do is we're going to drop this guy. It's actually might even be better pressure, but we're going to drop this safety into a zone, bring that guy down. Always bring your safeties down, in my opinion, this year. And then you're just going to click on to Levante David. And what you're going to see is um, he's already on a blitz, so we don't have to make him on a blitz or anything. But at the snap of the ball, when you come down with him, you're going to see you're going to get a gap and edge pressure. So you don't even have to go down for very long. You're just simply going down because of the fact that that's the adjustment that you are on. 
you're technically on a blitz. But what I find with this is this gives me a little bit better edge heat. Um, the A gap is not as consistent whenever I run this version, but the edge pressure is a lot more consistent. So you see here, edge pressure comes right around, easy heat at the quarterback. So that's a way that you can either get edge pressure or looping pressure blocking uh, with them blocking only five people. Um, really consistent pressure in my opinion. So I'd encourage you to check this out. You get really good coverage against Gun Bunch too because you can make a decision. Do you want to use your Winfield or do you want to use your Levante David? And honestly, that's up to you. You just come right down in here, really stack yourself on this on this DT, go down just for a second, and as you can see there, the pressure is absolutely screaming. So I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about Madden 22 or if you want to get my Giants defensive guide, if you thought this blitz was good, I think you're going to think that the stuff that we released in our Giants defensive guide is absolutely incredible this year. So I'd encourage you to get that. And again, that link is in the description. All you got to do is go click on the website link down there and it'll take you to the website. You'll get it for just 15 bucks. Uh, super cheap and super, super effective. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And that's how you can get some A-gap pressure going in Madden 22 right now.